<laughs> yeah, today we have Beaver. <laughs> yeah. And actually I have two things from Beaver, so it's gonna be a long show because I want to show this first product because I it's uh it looks like the same as everybody else's, but it's not. It's it's better. So yeah, let's do the Beaver uh, solar panels first, and then we'll get into this. This is cool too. This is a woodworking tool here, so that ought to be good too. So stay tuned or look ahead where you can find the wood tool if you're interested in uh, routers and stuff. So let's get on it. Yeah, so we've got the first thing we're going to do is sol the solar because the solar panels that were shipped in recently from Vivor. Uh, they were portable and it was like, you know, yeah, another set of portable 200 watt panels. 200 watts, well, that's pretty good. You know, you always have my attention when you've got some power going on. Especially with portables, I love to have 200 watts, but these are good heavy panels. So the wind isn't going to knock them down or something. But there's a whole lot more going on. Also, i got to apologize for the noise today. I've got a number of 3D printers running some jobs off right now in the shop here with me. So, you know, we've got a little bit of noise to contend with. This took me by surprise because it's a 200 watt system but it comes from Vivor and it was like wait a minute this has a feature that none of the other companies that have ever sent us portables in as they've just never had it and I'm going to show you what this is when you're putting these things out on an angle you want to put these little stairs or these little steps out but notice right away we're kind of high and steep here so we have a button right here and when we undo the button we've got yeah four different settings so that means you can angle your panels steeply or you know a little bit more a little more a little more whatever sun angle you need to get these panels that you know give you better performance you have four positions with these that is really cool and if you don't understand quite what we're looking at here uh, let's see if I can do this here in the shop probably have to do it outside but uh, what happens is as you stand these panels up and you want to put them out like this you want to be able to adjust that angle. Well, the other panels that come in only have one angle. They, they sit on about 45 and, you know, that's it. Yeah. These ones here, you can set them for, say, a steeper angle like this. So you can really lay the panels down. So that was something from Beaver that really surprised me because I wasn't expecting, uh, of all companies, Beaver, you know, like, they sell so many different things, but this is a, just a feature that just absolutely smoked me. Now, the next thing that we're gonna look at, and these are heavy, like I said, the wind's not gonna blow these things away on you. So when you set them up, hopefully, even on a windy day, they're not gonna knock down or you're not gonna be worried about the falling over or something, is the package that comes in here. This is pretty much the best setup that you're gonna see in this type of a 200 watt solar panel is you've got your regular MC4 connectors, looks like, you know, number 10 wire, everything looks great. But they also include this multi-kit here for hooking up. And look at this, you've got all, pretty much all the different connections you need to get to like a charge station where you can charge something up. And you've got the XT60, you've got the small, you know, the small DC barrel plug that a lot of, you know, some of these, you know, well, a lot of them use them. Also, we've got this one with the pin connector, and I have seen this on power stations too, so that's great. And, of course, the good old Anderson cable. These are all like 30 amp rated too, so great. You know, Beaver includes this so that you can hook up to whatever it is you need. Now, we're going to have to go outside, of course, to play with this, so. And we're going to need a power station. Now, it just so happens I have a power station here from, who else? Beaver. It's a small one. So I'm going to discharge it first so we can, you know, see how much power is coming in. And then we'll set these up. And basically it's 200 watts and you can figure each of these panels is about 50 watts. So they're tied in like a parallel circuit thing where you've got 12 volts coming through. And these, this is a, uh, I guess we'll call this a classic 12 volt setup. I don't know if there's a, should be a voltage rating on here with maybe even efficiency or something, but they're probably 22 to 24%. They're a fairly stiff panel too, which I kind of like because, uh, again, with this sort of flexing going on with a solar panels, you don't want a problem. So, nice handle for carrying, like a suitcase, you know. So we're gonna go outside and set this up with the uh, V-Bor <laughs> power station, the little one, the, the little smallest one that V-Bor I think sells, and we'll run 200 watts and charge it up. But first, I gotta go discharge it. I'll be back. Yeah. 
Yes, it's January the 29th. You hear birds. Uh, you see some semi-green grass out here. It's about 65 degrees, so it's cold. Winter time here in southern Texas. Yeah, 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 I know. <laughs> I've got this light plugged into our little power station here, and it is taking forever to run down. So we might have a problem. Uh, it's just, well, okay, as long as we can get her down, so we've got some room to charge this up. In the meantime, I'll put the panels out and get them ready. Now, now we're set. Okay. Yeah, I gotta love it. Good log, good length of cable too from uh, the panels. That's pretty decent and uh, nice heavy cable coming from that. So that's great. And we'll just go ahead and put the uh, yeah, put these together so that we can uh, get ready to charge. Now, the V-Bar, let's, uh, let's get this up on a table and we'll close up on the front here so you can read what's actually going on. Now, here's the problem. <laughs> 92 watts from a 200 watt system. The reason is this particular power supply, I probably shouldn't have picked it, but it is V-Bar, so I thought, well, we'll try this. I think this limits itself to about 100 watts coming in for charge, so it won't allow any more than that in there. So the 200, oh, we got 100. Let's see if we can, oh, 101. Okay, so we're still coming up a little bit. Did not expect to even see that because even at 200 watts, like I said, it's, it limits it to somewhere around 100 watt uh, input. It might be 120 watts total, something like that. So it's going to control how much is coming in from the panel. So even though they're 200 watts, we're not going to be able to get the 200 watts out of the panels. I don't expect to get that anyways, but it is looking great. Look at 100 watts and it's, it's, it's charging up. Uh, it Right now, I think it shows 11 minutes before it's fully back to charge. It's at 95%. I tried to run this down this morning. By the way, just... For Viver's sake, I'll put a link in the description below where you can find the solar package, but also a link in the description where you can find this little guy. It's a 300 watt, and the funny thing is this thing was sitting for about two months, nothing around it, just laying around. When I picked it up, it was still at 100% fully charged, so that's a pretty good quality little <laughs> package right there. And it's, it's again, it's about 100 watts, so I don't expect, yeah, 99, it's going to go up and down a little bit, but it, uh, the sun's coming across the sky, it's about noontime, so this is the most you're going to get out of, the, uh, out of this particular setup. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to go find one of the other power stations I have, that's an off-brand name, and it won't be Vivers, obviously, but we'll plug into it, and we'll just see if we can get more than 100 watts uh, out of this uh, system. All right. Uh, this is a different brand name. We're actually, we're going to be having a show on this one shortly, but I thought I'd plug it in and just see how it's doing. Already we're seeing 141 watts coming in on the XT60 plug on this unit, which is, uh, yeah, a lot more power because it's not limited. It's I'm not even sure what the limitation is on this one, but I believe it was 200 watts or better. It might be 400 watt, in which case we can, you know, take in as much of that solar power as we can get off those panels, but 140 watt. 141 watts. That is pretty decent, and she's charging up quickly. Uh, something else uh, worth noting here. I put the panels even steeper. I was able to climb up to 142. I had 143 here for a second, but it, it dropped again. But at a steeper angle, which again was something these panels will allow you to do to set them where the other panels, they don't have that. It's either 45 degrees or it's flat on the ground. So I'm at 142 watts right now, steady power coming in, charging up this system. We will uh, be showing this power uh, station at some point in the next uh, week or so. Well, I'm pretty excited about it. It's got some interesting features. It's a little different, again, but it's a nice power station. It uh, came in about a week ago, and we just haven't really had time to even look at it. But it doesn't limit the amount of uh, wattage coming in on the input as far as like it's 200 or 400 watt input. Uh, size with an XT uh, 60 plug. So again, the Beaver uh, panels are doing, showing you, you know, the 200 watt panel on a, you know, it's kind of a cool winter's day here in Texas is doing 142 watts, which is really huh, not half bad at all. Uh, just a quick note, here's what I'm talking about. Uh, I was able to set the panels on the maximum angle because it's about one o'clock right now to try to get as much of that sun hitting those panels directly. Uh, one of the cool things with portables is you can look at the shadow that you're casting and you try to kind of minimize that shadow You know, you're getting you're tuned into the Sun's angle kind of thing and that that's going to maximize now Most portables get about yeah, they're usually running about half of what they're rated at uh, depending on 
conditions. And the reason for that is angle of sun, it's portable. You're just sort of like, you know, this, these are not, again, not optimally set, but they're doing well at 140, 243 watts showing right now on the machine. They are really doing a terrific job, and that's from Vivor. This is not even a solar panel company, really. It's just Vivor. You know, they just have a lot of cool stuff. Restaurant and tools and all kinds of agricultural equipment. Just a little bit of everybody. Well, that looks like about the best I'm going to be able to do today without tweaking the panels a little bit more for angle and stuff. But otherwise, uh, I'm going to say, hey, Vivor, 200-watt panels at a great price and 140... Uh, 144 watts almost yeah <laughs> wowee okay we're back over at the system where that 200 watts from Viver is still pumping a good 143 watts into the system it went a little higher but now it's calmed back down again to 143 watts i want to show you the difference of what's going on here so let's go over to the other 400 watt panel kit i set up out here and i'm just going to show you what's going on okay this is not very good but it's a little bit the sun is really blasting here but this is a 400 watt panel set from a professional supplier that specializes in portable panels and their 400 watt is giving me 197 96 whatever watts same day same driveway same everything yeah that's what i'm talking about the efficiency off those vivers is absolutely amazing Wow, we're back inside for a minute here. Uh, the 200 watts charging at 140 some odd watt from Vivor is more efficient than those professional panels that are 400 watts from a solar company that does portable power systems. It's like, yeah, just, yeah, it just goes around my head a little bit. But also the adjustment, of course, for the angle, Vivor's got it. And there was something else that, uh, Again, just little feature things sometimes that make or break a deal. And the Vivor 200 watt panel set has a way much longer cord with the MC4 cables so that I was able to put the power uh, station up on the table and show you guys, you know, what it's doing while it's charging. And I had lots of cable to deal with. The 400 watt panel set from a professional company, they've got about this much cable so the power station had to be right on top of it with the 400 watts in order to get everything together again fever outrun them all wow you know and from this is a company i like anyways because they're kind of a harbor freight online thing but they have a lot of great deals a lot of good stuff and they're always looking to improve on their uh their stuff so that's a good thing in fact i just uh sat down with fever uh this past week and we discussed uh, another tool that had come in here a while back and the company wanted me to list all the different uh things that i thought were you know could be improved on to make that thing just that much better through vivor in other words vivor's telling that company look you know we need to make some improvements and at the same time they're still trying to offer you guys and me you know a great price links will be in the description below for the power unit and of course the solar panels so that's really what we're talking about today the 200 watt solar package uh, if I'm an RVer, camper, whatever, and I need some solar power and I want something portable, I tell you the truth, I think that's what I would buy because the other ones don't have those features. They just don't. And they're more expensive and they're so-called professional companies, you know, that sell panels, you know. So we need to keep an eye out on that darn beaver, don't we? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're looking at the time situation here and I don't really, I can't get into it today. So I guess later this week, maybe Thursday or something, we're going to come back to this one. This is a nice set from Beaver too, but this is a whole different thing. This is for a woodworker, and I wanted to cover them today, but there's just no way. There's a lot to talk about with these, but they're really nice uh, setup type blocks for your router, for your uh, your uh, table saw, you know, and just even maybe your band saw if you need a certain angle or something. You know, they're great setup blocks around the wood shop. So. We will come back and discuss that another time, probably Thursday, I guess. In the meantime, I want to thank everybody for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, ring the notice bell. Vivor, <sighs> solar, yeah. Wow, why not? Over and out. <laughs>